So a couple days ago, the YouTuber Turkey Tom released a video talking about the pyrocynical grooming allegations that were brought to light by Ivory Rasmus. In this video, he shows how pyrocynical lied in his Reddit response, and as a result, it's reignited conversation around these couple month old allegations. Because of this, Ivory actually got in contact with Turkey Tom and ended up sharing more proof with him, which brought a couple new things to light and prompted Turkey Tom to make this Google document. It's titled, Proving Pyrocynical's Guilt, Debunking Every Argument written by Turkey Tom. Prologue. Recently, some allegations were made public via Twitter by Ivory Rasmus, someone who claims to have known Pyro Cynical years ago, at which point Pyro engaged in a number of sexual conversations with minors, while being aged 19 and 20. I've already done a video about this on my channel, and you can expect another video soon. In this document, I'm going to clearly outline why everything that Ivory Rasmus said in his post about Pyro is true, save for one caveat, and debunk every common counter-argument that I have seen for the validity of the messages, as well as the validity of Ivory's claims. But first, how about some new information? New leaks. On December 3rd, Ivory messaged me on Twitter to give me some more information. He alleged that he had found some old Discord messages with Pyro Cynical's current girlfriend, Ida, who originally messaged Ivory to victim blame him and say that what happened wasn't that bad. He then shows a DM that Pyro's girlfriend sent to Ivory. She says, yo, he was like, what, 18 slash 19 when that happened? Age difference wasn't that bad. And I know you were talking how you fucked in your mom's living room and such with both him and me. Like you were clearly mature enough to say, nah, man, I'm not into that stuff. It really isn't obvious at all, Ivory. There's no ill intent in what happened, and you know that. Turkey Tom continues in the document by saying, to prove that the messages were real, Ivory even clicked on Ida's account at the end of the video. Ivory sent me some very incriminating messages between him and Ida, where she clearly acknowledges his age. He then shows those DMs. They are from April 6, 2017 and starts out with Pyro's girlfriend saying, I don't know man, to which Ivory responds, like, I just worry that he'll regret feeling that way because of my age. Because it'll be the 15 year old French girl scenario, but with a 15 year old American boy. Ah, uh, Ida responds, this is just me thinking from how I know Niall, but I don't know if he'd actually be in a bi relationship. I think he's more open to like mostly porn and sex, you know? Yeah, you right. Turkey Tom continues the document by saying, we'll go back to these messages soon, which I'll leave a link to here if you want to scroll through them at all. But the natural response to this would be that the messages are fake, or that they are not from Ida. So let's prove that they are from her. Firstly, I'll post the Discord ID for the sake of transparency, as well as scroll through most of the relevant DMs. He then shows that video of the scrolling DMs. Continuing with the document, he says, and just to be able to clearly see that the same Discord ideas have already been seen before, you can see the same group chat which included Pyro, and who Ivory alleged to me was Ida. He then shows a screenshot of the deleted user, sending Ivory a picture of Pyro and his girlfriend together. Turkey Tom comments on this by saying, here's one point in the messages when Ivory sent an image from the deleted user of her and Pyro Cynical in a hotel room together. Doing a reverse image search for this will get you no results. This clearly shows that this image is unique at the very least. And just to further add to the pile of proof, here's a post she made on her Instagram just one day prior where she is in the same mirror in the same room. And pictured below we have another DM of a video of them at a restaurant. Do the Korean heart. 
that's now that I've demonstrated the veracity of these DMs, let's take a look at what they mean in tandem with Pyrocynical's greatest argument. Ivory lied about his age. Many have been under the impression that Ivory lied about his age, and that is why Pyrocynical decided to talk to him. After all, if he was under the impression that Ivory was older, then how could he be at fault? The most common misconception about this comes from Pyrocynical himself. He then links to Pyrocynical's statement and quotes him saying, He never once disclosed the fact that he was 15 at the time these exchanges commenced. Turkey Tom continues by saying, There are multiple things that discount this claim from Pyrocynical, both from the DMs between Ivory and Pyrocynical, and in the DMs between Ivory and Pyrocynical's girlfriend Ida. He then shows DMs between Ivory and Pyrocynical, where on the 18th of September in 2017, Ivory does disclose to Pyro that he is indeed a minor. Turkey Tom continues by saying, Here we see Ivory not only say that he is a minor, but also a message of him clearly sending his Twitter bio with his age in it to Pyrocynical, at which point he would have been 16 years old, and Pyrocynical would be 20. In the newer leaked messages between Ivory and Ida, we see her acknowledge the fact that he is 15 years old, showing that he wasn't lying to her about his age. Not only this, but the DMs seem to be alluding to Pyro and Ivory forming some kind of relationship at the time. He then shows more DMs between Ivory and Pyro's girlfriend. It starts out with Ivory saying, It's like him and I, and him asking about real life stuff. Ida responds, Yeah, a fucking course he would. He's your friend, right? He's a really sweet boy and cares about people. Ivory responds, But like, it isn't friend stuff. Ida responds, give me an example, to which Ivory responds, it's like him asking really sexual stuff. I bet your cock is so hard from imagining that. Ida responds, ha 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 ha, I'm sorry. Ivory responds, yeah, I, I'm fine with it. Turkey Tom continues by saying, Ivory says that Pyro is talking about more real life stuff, but okay, how bad could it be? We don't know the full intent of these messages, right? Well, it gets worse. He then once again shows the message from Pyro Cynical's girlfriend, where she says he's more open to like mostly porn and sex. Ivory responds by saying, Yeah, probably. I just don't want him to be like, Fuck, what have I gotten into? She responds, Mmm, no, I think it's fine. Ivory responds, hopefully. Turkey Tom continues by saying, Here, Ida clearly says that she doesn't think it is unrealistic for Pyro at age 19 to be in a relationship with Ivory at age 15. They both clearly acknowledged Ivory's age just minutes ago in these messages. So, for Pyro to not know Ivory's age, five conditions need to be met. One, Pyrocynical never saw the initial DM from Ivory saying he was a minor. Two, Pyrocynical never saw the DM where Ivory sent him his Twitter profile, clearly stating his age. Three, Pyrocynical who at the time was expressing interest in Ivory and being in a relationship with him at the time, which was corroborated by Pyrocynical's at the time soon to be girlfriend, still never knew Ivory's age. An age which Ida clearly acknowledged, and an age which she thought would dissuade him from being in a relationship with Ivory. Four, Pyrocynical never saw any of the tweets of Ivory explicitly saying that he was 15 years old. On an account Pyrocynical followed and interacted with regularly. 5. Somehow Ivory never mentioned his age, and no one else mentioned his age in the presence of Pyrocynical outside of all of these clear instances, even once. A little ridiculous, right? I rest my case. Now let's go over a few of the main arguments from Pyro's Reddit post. He then quotes the part where Pyro says, Moreover, individuals have since come forward contending that Ivory would be disingenuous about his age, to proactively gain entry to other fantasy roleplay groups. This Twitter thread created by HTML Random Dude, now suspended, was one of the biggest sources of misinformation for Ivory Rasmus, as it garnered a lot of support on Twitter at the time. Pyrocynical cited it as evidence that Ivory was inconsistent about his age, even though there is literally no direct evidence of this. We do not have one solid screenshot of Ivory saying he was anything other than the age he has consistently maintained he is. This is a theory at best and one supported by nothing but the testimony of one person. Take a look at the rest of Pyrocynical's rebuttal. One quick look at Ivory's Twitter from the time will reveal that he was very open about his age publicly on Twitter. He then quotes a tweet from Ivory where he says, I'm a 15 year old shut-in who checks his phone a lot, but I hate how little kids bring a desk's worth of tech everywhere if possible. Turkey Tom continues by saying, and to further add to this pile, two of the sources that Pyrocynical cited as evidence that Ivory had lied about their age retracted the statements entirely shortly after. The messages are fake. One of the most common arguments people will give is that the messages that Ivory posted onto Twitter are completely fabricated. This is largely due to a lack of easy to follow information. Many believe that due to the presence of a deleted user, that the messages were impossible to prove to be from Pyrocynical. Let's go over why the messages are clearly real. Right from the bat, Pyrocynical admitted the reality of the DMs in his initial Reddit response. He then quotes Pyrocynical saying, I am not denying that in the past, I took part in conversations with others that many of you will understandably consider 
considered to be weird and distasteful. Probably an understatement. Turkey Tom continues by saying, If this isn't enough for you to still believe that the messages are real, at LumiCX on Twitter created a great thread walking through all the important aspects of the video, even analyzing the Discord UI to show that the messages are real. I'll leave one of the more important videos here. And for those of you who want to see that, I showed all of this in my Twitter vs Pyrocynical Part 3 video. The link to that will be in the description. Ivory is a clout chaser. One assertion that many people have made, especially YouTubers, is that Ivory is supposedly a clout chaser. And if you're just doing it for clout, maybe you shouldn't put it out there. This mostly comes from two sources. One is a tweet from Ivory where he made some disparaging remarks about Pyrocynical. He then shows that tweet. It's from 2017 and he says, Alright, I'm going to be the first to say the obvious and not try to beat a dead horse. But I hate Pyrocynical. He's one of the biggest leeches on YouTube. He's a hypocrite, he self-loathes, and he painfully panders to what everyone else is hating on. Week 2 out of 10. Next. Turkey Tom continues by saying, Given the fact that the two regularly interacted on Twitter at the time, and the actual writing here, you may suspect this is a joke and you'd be right. Seeing as this tweet was cross-posted from Reddit, not only this, but you can see multiple other instances of people on Twitter making the same tweet around the same time. So this is clearly a joke, but what about the other instance of this? This video was largely circulated on Twitter, claiming it to be evidence that Ivory is merely a clout chaser. He then shows that video. E -fame. <laughs> Oh, I thing I want. Turkey Tom continues the document by saying, The song is obviously done in jest, and anyone should be able to see that, but most people are under the impression that this is a recent video. However, if you simply look at the clip, the bottom right hand corner clearly shows that the recording is from 2016. Another argument Pyrocynical made lies in the idea that Ivory messages other people of a similar age around the same time. He quotes Pyrocynical saying, after Ivory alleged I groomed him, this individual then reached out to him to apologize for any hurt he may have inadvertently caused him. To which Ivory responded, No, you're fine. I don't care. Why does he not care in this instance? Why does he remain unaffected by a similar interaction with others? yet feel the need to single me out and character assassinate only me on social media. Turkey Tom continues by saying, This may be a little harder to nail down. Why wouldn't Ivory be upset at this guy if he was so angry at Pyrocynical? This becomes obvious when you read Ivory's original Twitlongers, where he says the biggest reason for him putting all of this information out there is because Pyro has influence, and he'd be right. Pyro has more than 4 million subscribers, and is easily one of the most respected people in the commentary community. It is no surprise that people are so on willing to believe these allegations. Most people don't even seem to watch videos about it before passing judgment. After YouTuber Boblacks put out a video including evidence that mostly supported Ivory, his comments were flooded with people claiming that he made it all up. And then he shows a screenshot of my comment section. I guess it's time to call out some of you guys. We have people like Pikmin64, Gurry Your Ass, Some Waste Paste Gaming, Mason Russell, Mr. Toast, Zenith HP, and Free Zero, all supporting Pyrocynical. Turkey Tom continues the document by saying, as I have shown in this document, this is hardly the case. At this point, you would be willingfully ignorant or actually developmentally disabled to believe that Pyrocynical is innocent. And even if that is not enough to prove to you that Ivory is not a clout chaser, let's say that his intention is some notoriety from this. Not noble in any way, sure, but does that really matter? If the allegations against Pyro are true, and Pyro did know his age, and lied about it after the fact, do his intentions somehow completely ruin the reality of the allegations? Are you so hung up on this idea that you will not put forth the effort to condemn someone who did something demonstrably more harmful? I don't know about you, but I have much more hatred for someone exhibiting predatory behavior than I do for someone who wants Twitter likes. I'll let you make that choice yourself. Verdict. Is Pyrocynical a groomer? While I first stated no, after these new leaks, I don't feel comfortable saying no. That being said, Ivory's basic message can be legitimately proven to be true. When he was 19 years old, Pyrocynical messaged a 15 year old sexually. But as Pyrocynical's own girlfriend states, not to be a party pooper, but he does that to everyone. And for the idea that they were just messaging about fetishy shit, Pyro clearly references the hypothetical of having sex with Ivory directly in the messages. He then shows the message where Pyro says, It eat your cock up with my ass. To be honest, I don't know fart so long and hard on your lap. You wouldn't be able to breathe. My ass and back would be dripping in sweat. 
Turkey Tom then continues by saying, Red Kiwis is a popular gaming YouTuber who was outed in 2016 for having knowingly messaged a girl he thought was 14 at age 19, and sending and receiving pornographic images with her. He would later be confronted about this on Drama Alert, where he lied to Keemstar's face. Pyrocynical, while never having sent naked images to Ivory, was 19 years old messaging a 15 year old page after page of fetish art and discussing extremely graphic things with a child. This isn't the case of a two year age gap. This is a sophomore in college and a sophomore in high school being sexual over DMs. And as I clearly shown here and in my video, he clearly knew Ivory's age and lied about it after the fact to get out of it. I personally went into this situation under the impression that Ivory had lied. Once analyzing the evidence, there's no other conclusion that can be reached other than Pyrocynical is full of shit, literally and metaphorically. Ivory Rasmus did not lie, and Pyro has no verifiable contradictory evidence. I'll end this document with a statement from Ivory Rasmus's second twit longer, and final statement about the subject. He then quotes Ivory saying, This is a message to people who know Niall, and know for a fact that this is true, but continue to stay silent. What matters to me is that there are multiple accounts of Pyrocynical abusing his power to be sexual with his fans, which include minors. It's not just me who has been affected. This is public knowledge in multiple communities and has been tolerated and in turn enabled for far too long. And that is about it for Turkey Tom's Google document. If you want to know about this subject more in depth, you can watch Turkey Tom's video that he made which is mentioned in the Google document, as well as watch my previous three videos to get up to date with all of the information that has been said in regards to this ivory and pyrocynical situation. If you want to keep up to date with this story and other dramas, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, and also subscribe to Turkey Tom because as he said in the Google document, he will be making a follow up video on this. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate the support. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.